Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we have seen the demo like uh, how we have written the restaurant APIs. Now we are going to work on the restaurant dish and marking your uh, favorite dish or favorite restaurant uh, as a favorite. So you can just it's like bookmarking so you can see and you can come back and you can see okay these are your favorite restaurants from which you can do the order again and these are your favorite dish you, from which you can see and order again. So restaurant dish controller and restaurant dish entity we have we need to create a DTO DTO is empty so what we will do is we will we will work on these files so restaurant controller uh, I will just copy it for the restaurant dish and what all APIs we are going to write restaurant dish this is for restaurant admin so he should be able to add a dish remove a dish update a dish delete a dish from the restaurant which he is a owner so there will be some permissions first of all who all are allowed only restaurant admins is allowed first and user should be already logged in having authorization token and then internally we will check okay is this current logged in user having a restaurant admin is the real owner of this restaurant that we can do at the code level so I copied just a template of this controller. We will just replace the name. So API V1 restaurant. It can be dish. Because dish is a part of restaurant. So we can keep this controller here. I mean there should be no conflict. Here what, what kind of routes we are adding. Uh, in this uh, controller is restaurant. We can still use this. And we'll create a sub routes or nested routes inside this. Okay, authorization API tags. Let's say restaurant dish. So that we will have a different group on the Swagger docs. And then here uh, I will start adding these APIs. Search we don't need. Okay, I will start doing and copy paste create dish. So this is like a post API but this will happen on the ID so this is my restaurant ID and I will be doing post on this so dish so this is my post similarly I will create uh, other APIs let me just update the description API operation and API created response So description is dish fish for restaurant created successfully okay now we can just copy paste it how many times so this is for post and what we will do is now this is created 201 status code here you can also send a type so that will be available in the DTO so create dish this is the post now what you will do is first you create a dish then you will get a dish ID also with the restaurant now rest all the routes will be a nested routes so here let's say what we will do is update dish But here we need to pass the dish ID also. Because ID is the restaurant ID. And the another ID is a dish ID. Because you are updating this. Update dish. And this is like update or here you can just fetch. Dishes. So here you just need to pass only the restaurant ID. And based on that I will just give you all the restaurant all the dish available from that restaurant and this is like a public API you can say do we need to put the auth guard here because anybody can access this API for now let's uh, keep the the role guard keep the access token guard we will remove it so this is like fetch dishes it's like okay response and fetch all the dishes
from restaurant okay so this is fetch this is what post so this will be put because we might want to update this also this is post put fetch and delete I delete I haven't created because maybe while setting up your restaurant and onboarding all the dishes you want to delete something right so here this delete will be the whole you will be passing both the IDs because this particular dish from this restaurant you want to delete delete dish and here we are passing two IDs and it will be no content delete a dish from restaurant menu right I don't want to keep this and obviously we need to have auth guard permission guard all type of guards will be there for this delete API and for the put api get we can still keep uh, free put this is my delete okay so basic basic api structure we have created now let's uh, start adding a couple of things so here what what ids we are getting we are getting id and dish id so we can get it through the dto we are not accepting any payload so we will create uh, dtos in this so there is a restaurant DTO what we need to do is we need ID always lazy in writing a repetitive code so here we will import the whatever we are importing some common modules which we are importing everywhere and this is uh, create a update dish item dto item param dto because we are going to pass this as a path param so there is an id which is of type uh, uuid so we are doing a class validator is uuid is enough it will take care of and if uh, defined value and a string value so this is restaurant id restaurant id as uuid you can just put some example value okay this is how the uuid looks like and there is another attribute dish, dish id both are of type uuid because this is dish id because our database column is uuid primary key so update this item param dto this we need in all these controllers so here we are getting the user context and we don't need body in delete param and you pass your DTO which we have created the same DTO we need in all the update APIs like delete update this is get in get we just need only single DT, single variable because we need to pass only restaurant id so i will create a reusable details i can create a uh, one more because we can extend it in another class so this is restaurant param dto okay this is already having the id so we can just say is this will extend restaurant param dto so we have both the dtos right this dto we need to pass in the id so here we have we are passing the param because here the path param is only one attribute right so this will become param and then we will write the services service methods here we are only passing restaurant id and on the other operations like update dish we need to pass both the id restaurant id and the dish id 
and body will also be there because you are talking about update operation and we need to define the body DTO so this is param update this DTO and the create restaurant body DTO instead of this there will be a create restaurant dish body DTO this we are going to define in our DTO so this is export export class and what all uh, attributes we have in the dish item that we need to see we need to see what is required what is nullable this is default null this should be nullable maybe user doesn't want to add a description category can also be nullable food type can be nullable I mean we are going to use just a dummy data so we are not sure if the data is there we need to have a null checks in our front end code price will be there name will be there and then timestamp and all thumbnail I mean the images about this particular menu item and type is a vegan vegetarian non vegetarian of, that is a food type ingredient description will have all the details some thumbnail images to showcase what it is about and category type and all there are many identification about a food item okay so all are nullable we are good now so what we will do is in the restaurant DTO we need to take these input as a payload right so what we will do is we are going to write a DTO restaurant dish DTO I will copy something from here and then we'll replace the names restaurant this DTO this is the body so what all inputs we are going to take name description category food type category and food type I think we should have a name and description which is not there name description now here you you will be using class validator description do you need the description so you can just override this is optional in that case whatever you put here is required or is defined all will be override by is optional so now description is is optional next thing is category category is defined is string is it's also is optional now let's add other properties whatever we need uh, from the entity so I have a name description category food type ingredients thumbnails food type ingredient thumbnails so I need to remember them ingredients and then I think there is a food type ingredient is still a description a long description and then there is a food type I mean we can also create some enums I need to see what all we need to we can create as a enum like food type is a vegan vegetarian non vegetarian these all can be a enums food type and then we have price and thumbnails thumbnails is a JSON object price and thumbnails okay there is one more attribute we have price that is of type number and that is required is number okay price this is like okay I can put the price in the currency INR price put type and thumbnails that is of tribe so thumbnails can be a JSON object where we are going to store all different images because inside thumbnails there can be uh, multiple images so it can be just a array of string is array I think there is a each true this is a string array thumbnails thumbnails is this and this is going to have example is something like this okay there is an array and you will have uh, images HTTP S 
Nr.PNG. So similarly, comma separated all the thumbnail images you can have. I will check if this validation will work. Array each true is optional because thumbnails you may skip passing, but if you are passing, then it should be of string array. So this is my body DTO I have created. This body DTO will use inside this controller. Okay, we need to pass all the arguments user param payload and then we'll write this method so this is put similarly there will be so inside put we are uh, we are passing i mean i want to update the dish okay so we can we first of all we need to use the same params for creating a dish okay post body so i will just first copy the body because while creating you need to pass but while updating properties will be optional because you may be updating only one property okay so i will just cre uh, create a new type from this export class create restaurant update dto so this will be update restaurant DTO there is extends partial type let me see if I am writing the syntax correctly partial type so what it is doing is it is creating a new type from the create restaurant dish which will have or properties optional so I can use this type for the update and this type I will be using for the create restaurant dish so I am getting I'm creating two types out of one so this will be a update and for the post API it I can just I can be using only create okay so now I will just change this methods create dish and who is creating the dish this particular user who has access to this particular restaurant so we have to pass the param also here okay we need to fetch the params this is the param for the restaurant id same i need to pass while creating the restaurant so that we can check okay mm -hmm. user has access to user is a real owner of this restaurant then I will just do create dish user param all the arguments pass it and payload this is create dish and this is update dish so what I'm doing here is update dish and I will be passing the user param I where I'm passing the restaurant ID and the dish ID and the payload so all these optional options and then here we have is fetch dishes so you just need is restaurant ID and the user so I will be using param not payload and here it is delete restaurant so this is we need to be safe here here we are passing the all the params the restaurant id dish id in the params and the user who is currently logged in user using which we will check do you have access to this restaurant as admin okay so this is my controller my half of my task is done now i just need to write a service inside service we will get this data and we will just uh, write injectable service which we can just do that inside services restaurant service we already have i will create a restaurant dish service and here we need to because i will be accessing the restaurant entity and the restaurant dish entity so here this is how we inject the entity repository so restaurant i think the theme is restaurant dish entity Me check yes this is restaurant dish entity restaurant dish repo and okay so we got the restaurant entity and restaurant dish entity because we are going to deal with both the repositories here and then we will just use create restaurant update restaurant delete restaurant give me the all the list of restaurants so so the, this is restaurant dish service this is injectable so we need to put that in the main module domain module we have these three entities one controller 
restaurant service so another service is restaurant dish service and then restaurant dish controller there is another controller we have dish controller okay let me check the name okay now in the main module just resolve both these inputs restaurant disk controller and restaurant disk service now when you run it you will see the swagger pack is showing you all the new added apis but still we need to fix these errors because there is no methods available in the services which are do which are doing all the create read, uh, read update all these operations so here we are going to inject restaurant dish service which we will inject which will import because that is already added in the providers so we can access it and controller so we are good what we are doing is now inside this, that we are going to create create dish update dish delete dish all these methods so what i will do is because this is just a simple apis uh we already have a restaurant and while creating a dish we also need to assign the restaurant okay this particular dish is available to this restaurant so i will get this done and then we'll have a simple demo and then we will see how we are fetching all the all the menus for a particular restaurant updating deleting all the basic operations we are doing because it's a simple thing i'm not doing any rocket science here here we will just check a validate authorization okay this restaurant id has a owner id which is same as the user id of the logged in user then only allow him otherwise just say okay 403 forbidden you cannot access because you are not authorized so create this update this delete dash let's see in the next video all the the remaining uh, implementations and we will have a simple demo which will complete our most of the features about the restaurant microservice then we, it's all about okay making a particular dish as your favorite a restaurant as a favorite storing couple of more attributes or more there may be a more things about the restaurant which we which we can store and the rest of the thing is how we can synchronize this these multiple many restaurants which has a huge these dish menu item data into the elastic and then do the run the search through the elastic search